uh, Sasha stepped on a table, had a speech, and I was standing about five feet from him. And again, I was begging God, let me survive. And he said the last words. But they said, remember they said in the film, this is what I was, what I did remember, I told him. And he said, whoever will survive his duty is to tell the world what's happened here. And I promised me, God, if you will let me survive, I will never relax telling. And suddenly, we had a shot from far away. I didn't see this, but later I find out that um, a German discovered a dead body of his comrade, and he sounded alarm, but it was too late for them, anyway. But How many do you think were still alive? How many Germans? How many Germans? About 12 from Swabiva. Mm -hmm. Okay. A anyway, so we realized something happened. So the plan was a little bit, um, didn't work at that point because we, we planned to march out. So we realized something wrong. So he's, at that point he stopped and he stepped on the table and had a speech, Sasha. And suddenly somebody started to yell, hurrah, first a single voice. Some of the people wasn't able to stand it anymore detention because uh, Sasha was still speaking. When he said hurrah and everybody picked it up, hurrah, hurrah, and we did run to the gate, I did run to the gate. And I remember uh, a Nazi did come driving in with a bike. He was immediately thrown for the bike, killed, the weapon taken away. And I was running with the main group to the main, gro to the main um, gate. And I remember Frenzel shot in Katus with a machine gun. I remember another Nazi ha with his back against the canteen. They have a canteen. I shot him with a pistol while he was backing up. And as he hear uh, a friend fall here, there, I hear the whistle of the bullets. So I, ba I did backed up and started to run back. And at that point, I don't remember what's happened, but the next thing I remember, I did find myself in a corridor. You see, there were three barbed wires running around Sobibor, and a minefield. The first two barbed wires were fairly close, but between the second and the third last barbed wire, there was a hallway, a guard for the Ukrainians with the dogs, for the guards. By that time, the Ukrainians did escape, being afraid. So I find myself, probably I went into the gate where the Ukrainian guards went in. I find myself in this hallway, and I realize, look, I have two barbed wires behind me, barbed wire fences, on the one front fence, but in the hand I had only a knife. I remember there was this inscription, Kusha shall paisa, probably, uh, uh, hell, probably was a rabbi's knife, because yeah. I find it in the luggage. And, uh, and what could I do with the knife? I stood in the front of the fence, by wire fence. Sasha was nearby, the leader of the world with a pistol, he can do much either. And was Shloma with a rifle, I remember him shooting. And uh, more and more people did come. And finally, a guy did come with an axe and start to cut a hole in the, in the fences. And people start to go through the hole. But more, as more and more people did come in, and from the guards, the, the, the guards which were from, from the towers, the guards which were, were unable to reach, started shot. And people were waiting in the line, were waiting. They started to climb the fence. And while I was, at that time I thought, this is the worst thing could happen. At a time stuck, I will be sorry, but because the moment I went to this hall, at that point, the fence onto the heaviness of the bodies of the people climbing collapsed and pinned me down. Now I realized that this was my luck, because while laying under the fence, people stepping over me, I've seen bodies taken apart by the mines. And later, when everybody went through, I did try to climb out and wasn't able because the barbs that embedded in my coat. And uh, I had, look, I had a leather coat because I picked it up from the storms and didn't go too deep, but I did slid out from this leather coat, and left the leather coat onto the barbed wires, and I was running. And I was probably the last one. I did fall down a couple of times, I remember, on the field, I thought I'm hit, but I did get up and run it until I reached the forest. <laughs>